Hello everyone, welcome to another Star Wars Old Republic video and for this video it is going to be another pack opening. For the holidays this weekend, Bioware has decided to uh, bring back gold armor packs or gold packs in general. If you, for those of you who don't know what these are, I just made a really recent video about them, but basically they're just packs that guarantee you something really good. So gold armor packs will guarantee you a one gold quality full armor set, and it also gives you a nice little bonus. It gives you one gold quality armor piece. Uh, so that's just one of those single outliers that are gold and pretty rare, but don't really come from a specific armor set or cartel pack. The best thing to get is the Nihilus mask and also the unfettered trench coat. Those things sell for a ton on the GTN. Some of the bad stuff is like the Saberist armor. You're, you're going to see a lot of the junk that comes out of this uh, in this pack opening probably because the Nihilus mask and the unfettered trench coat is very rare. So I'm assuming a lot of the other junky stuff will end up popping out. But the gold set that comes out of here, the one full armor set of gold rarity, now that is going to be pretty good. So I'm really excited to see just exactly how much junk ends up coming out of here and how much is like the really good stuff like Revan Reborn armor set, which I hear a lot of people have been getting recently. But as you guys can see in my inventory, I do have 20 cartel packs available, which means this is going to be by no means a small pack opening. Because one year ago when I was doing these pack openings on my channel, um, I was only able to like afford one or two at a time because I was buying them off the GTN or I was like offering credits for referral link clicks and then um, getting them very, very slowly. However, I think a 20 sample size for this video is going to give you guys a pretty good idea of what exactly pops out of here and what are your chances of getting one of the really good stuff like Revan or uh, Sith Recluse, Tula Core, that kind of good stuff. Um, and what are your chances of maybe getting something a little bit junky. And from my experience a year ago, a lot of really good stuff uh, comes out of here. As I said in my most recent video, I'd like give it a 60-40 chance. There's a 40% chance that the armor set you get is not going to be too good, but there's a 60% chance it's going to be really, really good. So let's see if those numbers hold. 20 packs here, let's get right into the first pack. I'm going to go through the pack opening itself very quickly, and then I'm just going to quickly check what the prices they're going for on the GTN later. So right out of the first one, we have the Rotworm Practice Jersey, that is complete trash, but the Underworld Anarchist armor set. Not too bad. I'm interested to see what that sells for on the GTN, but I don't think it's too good of a drop. But this one is an amazing drop. Revan's armor set right out of the second gold armor pack. Now that is insane, guys. That's the Revan's sash and Revan's helmet right there. That's going to sell for a ton on the GTN. And the next pack contains the Battlefield Commander armor set. I have a feeling we're going to see a lot of these in this pack opening. This is a direct sale purchase from the cartel market and for some reason direct sale purchases from the cartel market seem to drop out of these packs a lot and right on point we see here the Sith Raider armor set popped out of here as well. So uh, that's also another direct sale purchase from the cartel market. But here we have Marka Regnos' armor set. That's I would label that as a really good drop. Uh, not as good as like Revan or anything but definitely going to sell for a pretty penny on the GTN. Oh, but this one is amazing. The Sith Recluse armor set. Wow, I've never been this lucky. Uh, the Sith Recluse is probably the single best armor set to get out of these packs. So that is like number one. That's probably the best thing you can get. Um, the Outlaws armor set. I'm not familiar with that one and it seems as though uh, it doesn't have an image associated with it. So we'll check, out, we'll check that out and see what that is at the end of the video. But uh, hopefully it sells for a lot. Jory Daragon's armor set. That's another very, very good one. A lot of these, uh, you know, it's, I'm interested in the variety because I'm getting a lot of different varied armor sets. I remember a year ago when I was opening them, you would normally just get the same things over and over again. But here we have these the Cool Knight Captain's armor set. That's like the Underworld Anarchist armor set. Not too good of a drop, but I wouldn't say it's bad. I mean, it probably sells pretty well in the GTN. But this is a pretty good one. Ruthless Scions armor set. Easily one of the best armor sets released in the recent cartel packs. Uh, definitely sells for a pretty penny on the GTN. So, wow, that's a pretty good drop. And another Revan's armor set. Okay, that is insanely lucky. That is really, really nice. I'm really surprised at how little junk is coming out of these things. I'm really surprised. Oh, and right on cue, we get the worst armor set. Wow, Shadow Corsair's armor set. That is a really, really bad drop, but I'm not complaining. With all the good stuff I've gotten, it seems as though junk is not really popping out of these packs. Uh, the M44 Combat armor set, another direct sale purchase from the cartel market. I would label this a bad drop because uh, it probably doesn't sell too well on the GTN. And it's not very nice. If you want to use it, it's not very nice. The Black Vulker Super armor set, I'm not familiar with this one. I believe it comes out of the Force Alliance packs. I do kind of remember this coming out of those, 
Uh, I'm not sure what it sells from the GTN. I've literally never even um, uh, looked at that armor set before. Uh, the Tula Cord armor set, yes, another amazing drop. Now that is as good as like Revan, like that helmet sells for a ton and people will pay a lot for the upper body armor as well. Okay, wow, another good drop. That's pretty awesome. And then we have a junkie drop. The Desert Scavenger armor set. This one was from the Scavenger Packs. Uh, it doesn't sell too well on the GTN. I've actually been buying up a few of those armor pieces for very low prices. We're going to jump out. The Noble Commander is just the worst thing to get. Ugh, that armor set looks so ugly. Then we have Mira's armor set. Not familiar with this one. Don't even know which cartel pack it comes out of. Uh, the Sand People Pillager armor set. Yet another direct sale purchase from the cartel market. And then we have the Come on to the Good. Uh, ah, oh, Sith Raiders armor set, another one of these things. So yet another direct sale purchase from the cartel market. All right, so not too bad at all. A very, very nice pack opening. So I'm going to go ahead and claim some of these things out of the uh, command stash here. I'll organize them nicely in my cargo base, and then we'll uh, take a look at what we got. All right, everyone, so I am back. I've organized things in my cargo base. I, uh, the first row of armor sets you see here is some of the really, really good stuff. The second row is some of the mediocre, kind of not too good, but not too bad. And then the last row is the junk. So I did end up getting seven really, really amazing armor sets. I ended up getting six kind of okay-ish, going to sell for okay on the GTN. And then I did end up getting five junk. And so that is a very, very, very good opening, I would say. Uh, definitely goes to show how awesome these gold armor packs are. However, the vast majority of people opening these packs, whether they buy them from the cartel market or off the GTN, aren't going to be opening 20 at a time. They're probably going to only be opening one or two at a time. And so um, the chances of you getting some of the really good stuff is obviously a lot lower. But I guess the point of this is to show that you do have a better chance of getting a really, really good armor set than you do at getting a bad armor set. And, uh, and the trend kind of did uh, stay here. Where if you jump in the equipment tab here, you can see that a lot of these direct sale purchases from the cartel market end up popping out of these packs. Honestly, I'm not sure why. I guess it's something to do with Bioware's RNG where they kind of set it so that you have a higher chance of getting the stuff because it's really unprecedented given all of the gold armor sets that are available in cartel packs and then the very small number of armor sets available from the cartel market. It doesn't make sense that so many armor sets are popping out that are available on the cartel market as well. And what that also means is since these things are constantly available, they don't sell for that much on the GTN. Usually anyone that wants to buy these armor sets just buys the cartel coins and gets them. No one really goes to the GTN. Uh, I've even tried to sell a few of them. I haven't had much luck. So those are all a little bit too junky and uh, they're pretty bad drops from these packs. So it's very unfortunate if you do pay a lot of credits for this pack or if you paid cartel coins and then you ended up getting something really bad. But that's just the nature of RNG in general. Uh, but congratulations to everyone that had as lucky as a pack opening as I did because I know people in the guild chat uh, were saying they got Revan's Reborn and stuff like that. And it's, a lot of people said they got Revan Reborn. So I hope they're not just trolling or lying. And I really do congratulate them if they got such a good drop because um, that means it was really worth it. A lot of these single... They, I don't know what to call them, like single gold items that kind of just pop out of these packs as well. Uh, they do sell pretty well, as you guys can see. Uh, definitely shouldn't disregard what these things are worth. The best thing to get is the Nihilus Mask. That is just the absolute best thing that you can get. But obviously that's a really rare drop. The other really good thing to get is the Unfettered Trench Coat. Which I'll type into the, uh, the search bar here. As you guys can see, sells for a ton. Looks really, really nice. It's pretty popular among Imperial Agents and Snipers and Scoundrels and stuff. And that is also a really good drop. But unfortunately, I did not end up getting any of those. But I did get the Trophy Hunter Mask, which is pretty awesome. And then we can check some of the items um, coming out of these really, really nice armor sets. Okay, here we go. Let's do Revan's. Okay. So that's not working. So we do Revan Mask. And here we go. 65 million credits, which it's probably not going to sell for that high of a price. But nonetheless, you guys can get a good sense of just how rare these items are. And I actually got two of these armor sets, which is insane. Revan's gloves sell for like, well, they don't sell for 44 mil, but they're getting put up for 44 mil. And then some of the other stuff is really nice, like Sith Recluse obviously is insanely high. Um, Jory Darragon is also a really, really nice armor set. I've seen that sell for pretty high of a price. People have been asking in chat for it because um, it's really a rare armor set. Tula Cord is going to also sell for a ton. Let's quickly try to search for the helmet and the upper body armor because those are the money makers. The helmet's up here at 30 mil and the upper body armor is at 35 mil. And you would think with the Dark versus Light Packs dropping so many of those armor pieces that they would have dropped in price, but they didn't drop in price, they stayed. And people were paying high prices for them. 
And then Ruthless Scion, or we check Marco Regnoses, that's 30 mil, and then the Ruthless Scion's armor set. Let's see what that goes for. It's the same thing, the upper body armor and the helmet are the real money makers. And uh, the helmet's going for actually really cheap. That's only 1 million credits. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna buy that. That's actually a really good deal. I can definitely see that selling for like 5, 6 million credits in the future. And then the upper body armor is the real money maker here at 10.8 million credits. So that is insane. Okay guys, so I'm gonna let the footage go while I just go and check some of the other stuff. And then I'm gonna do some quick calculations on the side. And uh, I'm going to come back with some uh, calculations about how much the items are worth in terms of credits and whether I made a profit or not. But quickly, um, it seems as though I've actually missed a few of these armor sets up here. So let's quickly categorize these as well. Uh, the Battlefield Commander armor set is probably a mediocre thing. And then the Black Vulker, I remember we were going to check out what this is. Uh, it's on the GTN for 29 million credits. Uh, so it seems as though it's pretty expensive, but there's not a lot of auctions of it I do remember that this drops out of the Force Alliance packs and the Force Alliance packs were very unpopular Not a lot of people bought them which makes sense because um, it wasn't very it wasn't a very good pack And so that means that some of the gold stuff from that pack probably is very rare because not a lot of people bought the pack So the market was never really in a state where it was flooded Anyways, I'm gonna run off and do those calculations and I'll see you guys in a few seconds Alright guys, so I have done some calculations in terms of what these armor sets are actually worth. Now remember in a recent video, I said that uh, the best cartel market conversion of cartel coins to credits that you can do is one cartel coin for 9,000 credits. Uh, or around that, I mean, sure, you could find some other ways, maybe you can make a little bit more, maybe it's a little bit less, depending on what the, you know, the items are selling for on your GTNs, but just let's use it as a general rule. So if we use that conversion of one cartel coin for 9,000 credits, well, I open 20 gold armor packs, and so that means... I spent 24,000 cartel coins uh, and so if I converted those cartel coins to credits rather than open the packs I could have potentially made 216 million credits so that's kind of the going number uh, so the bottom line is if I if all the armor sets from these packs are worth more than 216 million credits it was on the whole more profitable to open these gold armor packs I'm just kind of doing this for fun because as I mentioned beforehand the majority of you guys aren't going to be opening 20 gold armor packs but it's just kind of the, to see whether they're actually worth it in terms of their credit value and um, I'm not sure what these things are going to sell for on the GTN individually. I do think a lot of people have been saying actually that it's going to probably sell for more than 10 million credits each, considering you have a very good chance of getting like Revan's armor set and stuff. But I still think it's going to drop to 5 to 6 mil. However, time will tell. And I'll probably make a video updating you guys in the future. However, I went ahead and checked the prices of all these items. And if you completely lowball it, so you literally like just sell it for way lower than what it's going for on the GTN the lowest price that I could have made is 230 million credits. So that's the complete low end of the range. That's the absolute minimum. You guys get what I'm saying. I value like Revan's armor set at like, at like 30 mil. So that should give you a sense of just how, um, how low I went with the, with, with the estimation of how much it's gonna sell for on the GTN. And then if, on the flip side, if you go to the high end of the spectrum and you sell everything for basically what it's being auctioned for on the GTN at the moment, I could potentially be making 410 million credits. And so that's kind of the range. Um, if I sold these things on the GTN, I would make somewhere in between 230 million to 410 million credits. And so on the whole, definitely worth it to open them rather than just selling them on the GTN. And so yeah, that is the pack opening. I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. Really hope you guys get a good sense of what exactly is going to come out of these packs. And if you do decide to open them, I do wish you luck in your pack openings. May you get a Revan's Armor Set or a Sith Recluse or something as, uh, as good as that. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one.